Fiat soft tackle, we're going to move on to a, another fly that looks pretty similar, which is called the twinkle midge. It's basically the same fly, but we're going to use a couple more materials in here. And I'm sure you can see that from the POV camera here. The D-rib body, and a couple strands of crystal hair in here. Just added a little more flash to the fly. To get started, we're going to begin with the, the standard curve shank hook here again that's used for scuds and caddis. And we're going to attach our thread right in the thorax area there. And we're going to tie in our body material. For that, we're going to use some D rib. And in the D rib, like we, I said earlier, one side is flat, one side has a semicircular side to it. And we want to just make sure that that half, half moon side is on the side towards us so when we wrap it forward, we get a nice ribbing effect. Once it's tied in, we just begin wrapping it forward. One wrap right in front of the other. nice thing about midges, it takes very little material and they're nice and quick and highly effective flies to both fish and tie. Tie it off and we're going to cut our body material out of there. And we'll just take a few more turns of thread here and we're going to tighten our thorax which is going to be once again some micro dry fly dubbing. We'll make the thorax a little more contrasty so we'll add some darker dubbing. For that we'll use this micro fly dry dubbing in the mahogany color. Again this stuff is just super fine and easy to work with. I'm kind of purposely leaving it semi loose in here just to stress a point that if you when you're tying this small and you want to get them a lot tighter, your dubbing, just add a little dubbing wax to your finger, twist it in your thumb, and then just go right back over the dubbing. And you can just see how much tighter your dubbing gets. Again, we're going to just form a thorax and leave some room up by the hook eye. You need to stand that up just a little bit. Now we're going to tie in some wings. And that wing, is, from what the name suggests, is going to be out of crystal flash. All we're going to do is just take a small hunk of this And we're just going to tie it in behind the hook eye, tie it in spent. Then we just lay it one kind of back and off to the side and the same thing on the other side. Pull them straight back, trim it to about where the hook barb is. And there's our crystal wing. Although that the wing looks, well, pretty small for such a big hook that you're looking at right now. When you start tying these flies for actual use, they're going to generally be 18, 20, 22s, so that wing's actually going to be very proportional to what you're tying. Once again, we're going to add a soft tackle. For that, we're going to use the partridge again, or if you want, you can use a hen neck or hen feather in just about whatever color you want. I just like using partridge because I just really like the natural barring and model effect, effect that you get. We're going to measure it for length and that's going to be to about the hook barb or hook point area. Again, hold it on the side towards you, straighten out your thread, take your thread over the top, release the index finger, re-grab, keep coming on around, tie it off. Come in, 
to nip off your excess soft or partridge. Cover up what you just cut off, building a nice thread head, and you're ready to whip finish it off. Another good point to make is when you're tying midges for actual use, I've said that you're going to be tying them generally in 18 and smaller. A good quality vise is just indispensable for such, such work. And that's where this HMH really sh shines. They have several interchangeable jaws and one of them is actually made for the small hooks. Now, Take the thread off, you got a finished fly. This is what I like to call the twinkle soft tackle midge.